only on 13, a bicyclist was charged with damaging a man's Mercedes during a mass bike ride. You might remember this video of the car being swarmed and the man breaking the front windshield. ABC 13's Jessica Willie alive with why he said he did it and the response this incident is getting. Jessica. Yeah, Eric, Erica, this is a story that has generated a lot of strong opinions. The bicyclists fiercely defending themselves on social media. Motorists fed up with these takeovers. In court records, Houston police quote Michael Lang Johnson's Facebook post. He reasoned they were just standing their ground. Two weeks ago, Herschel Cashin found himself in the middle of a mass Thursday night bike ride. Video shows him driving in the middle of the riders, both car and bikes, into oncoming traffic. Cashin was within a mile of his home when it turned violent. It was like a, some animal. At the intersection of South McGregor and Scott, Cashin could go no further. One video shows a guy throwing a brick through his back window. A closer video shows a man breaking his front windshield with what appeared to be a bike chain. Houston police have now charged him. According to court records, Michael Len Johnson actually used a bike lock to shatter the windshield and wasn't afraid of getting caught. In fact, he replaced his profile picture with the image from the video and three days later posted to Facebook state court records. Quote, what the media is portraying as an angry mob is us standing our ground. We are not the aggressors here. We are the protectors. It goes on to say, I broke the windshield and I stand behind my actions. I didn't attack a vehicle out of anger. I disabled a vehicle that was being used indiscriminately as a weapon against any member of the group who was in the driver's way. Riders have told ABC 13 cash and hit them, but the video does not support those claims and police have no reports. Johnson seen here in an old mugshot is charged with criminal mischief. Court records say the damage to the vehicle was more than $10,000. I'm not looking for vengeance on him, but somebody needs to talk to some of these people. Since the ride, police chief Troy Finner met with the organizers to discuss how everyone can share the road. It is a delicate subject. Not even Bike Houston, who advocates for safe bike riding, wanted to weigh in, telling us they are, quote, agnostic on street takeover rides. In a tweet, the mayor said the violence won't be tolerated. Harris County Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen says they are working on solutions. Johnson, who declined to comment, has not been arrested.